see what are the different rendering types we have there are two major uh, rendering types first is the view rendering and second is the controller rendering so what is view rendering this rendering type is the razor view basically it is a view only view okay uh, view only okay sidecore so provides a default controller and model for the view okay so you can have a default model for the view you can customize the model by changing the mvc.get model pipeline use this when you want to render an item contain that does not require any significant business logic or presentation logic so there is no business logic then we can simply use the view rendering whereas the controller rendering is a for this rendering type you supply the controller model and view so it is basically a, a complete mvc uh, kind of a, a view okay where we have a controller also you have a model also you have view also you specify the rendering definition item what actions i could take to render the component use this to render content that relies on the external data or require significant business or a presentation logic so simple uh, when to use the view rendering controller rendering uh, if you have a if you have a business logic then we should go for a control rendering and if there is no business logic it's so simply displaying the data then we should go for the view rendering okay other than this i think 99% of the time you will be using this two rendering calls only but other than this we have a different other renderings also first is a item rendering this rendering type request that contain ren renders itself so item itself get rendered the content has information about how it renders okay so then you have a method rendering this rendering type writes outputs the return value of a call to a static method okay uh, then you have a url rendering so this can be url rendering can be used to replace the i frame so this rendering types of renders response of a http get request onto the current page so you can use it if you need the screen scrap html from another system so if there is another system from where you need the html like i frame view we are we are using right so that kind of functionality then you can go for the url rendering xslt rendering it is basically a uh, what you say a replace uh, uh, is alternative for the view uh, view rendering okay xslt is basically a legacy kind of a thing where you, in in a legacy website which we do have a xslt component which is used okay so if you do not want to replace as xslt component then you can use the xslt rendering this is also uh, rare rarely used so all these ports are very rarely used you hardly see anything till now i have never used anything xslt i do use so use stronger but others i don't think i have used till now okay so main important thing is the view rendering and the controller rendering if you if you do not have any business logic go for a view rendering if you have a lot business logic then go for a controller uh, controller rendering